the brother priests, religious sisters, brothers and sisters in Christ, Pit Senor! I have an experience which I love to tell again and again. I administered the sacrament of confirmation in the parish of Bolhoon. There were around 400 who received the sacrament. And I was struck with one of them, a young lady. She was very enthusiastic. She was spirit-filled as she received the sacrament of confirmation. What has struck me with this young lady, this young lady, doesn't have limb, no arms, no leg, and yet she was able to manifest the Spirit of God. I heard in another story another young lady, beautiful, perfect, in the criteria of the world. She approached the priest and told him, Father, I want to die. I want to kill myself. And the priest was surprised. How come? What made you plan to end your life? The young lady said, I have an illness. The priest asked her, What is your illness? And that young lady said, I have a UTI. The priest was surprised. It's very simple, very ordinary. And you plan to end your life? What do you mean by UTI? And the young lady said, Umibig tapos iniwan. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, what then is the essence of life? In the criteria of the world for men, tall, dark, and handsome. In the criteria of the world for women, brain, beauty, and bank accounts. <laughs> but what is God's purpose of creating us? We have heard that God created us in His image and likeness. In other words, we exist because we are loved by God. Do you believe this? Psalm 8, verse 2 and verse 4 to 6 says, O Lord, our Lord, how awesome is your name through all the earth. When I see your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars that you set in place, what are humans that you are mindful of them? mere mortals that you care for them yet you have made them little less 
than a god crown them with glory and honor brothers and sisters this is the essence of our life that we are loved and that we have to be convinced that we are loved without this belief then life is meaningless to the person on your right tell him or her you are the smile of god <laughs> see you are smiling because we believe we are God's love to the person on your left tell her tell him you are God's joy see we are all joyful do you feel that Brothers and sisters, our identity is founded in God's love. The Santo Nino is God's love becoming flesh. The, the invisible God made visible so that we can be convinced so that we can experience that we are God's love. The Santo Nino, cause of our unity and charity. There is a Latin saying which says, Nimo dat quod non abit, which means, you cannot give what you do not have. We are loved and so we can be instruments of God's love. We are loved by God and so we can share God's love to others. If we believe that the Santo Nino is God's love becoming flesh, then, brothers and sisters, let us identify ourselves to the Señor Santo Nino, cause of unity and charity. To whom are we going to ident identify ourselves? In 1970s, there were a group of women who idolized the superstar Nora Honor. And they called themselves the Noranians. How many of you are members or women members of this group? There were also other groups who idolized Vilma Santos, the star of all season. And so they called themselves the Vilmanians. There were also a group, group of men who idolized Cesar Montano. And so they called themselves the Cesarians. <laughs> What do we call ourselves? We identify ourselves to the Señor Santo Nino. Brothers and sisters, tell the people around you, I am God's love. And I do not have UTI.
God will never abandon us. The Senor Santo Nino is God's proof for us that He is with us and that He is in us. We are almost celebrating the 500 years of Christianity. We are accompanied by this image, the Senor Santo Nino, God's love becoming flesh and dwelt among us. When we identify ourselves to the Senor Santo Nino, then we can become ourselves God's instruments of unity and charity. This is God's calling. This is God's invitation to all of us. It's not enough to express in words our love to the Senor Santo Nino. We have to put it into practice. Exercise this love of God. Being God's instruments in unity, in charity. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to praise God as we express our faith, praising the child Jesus. Pit Senor. Viva Senor Santo Nino.